everyone, my name is Roya and today I am coming to you with the books that I read in the first half of December. So I actually did make some really good progress. These are mostly young adult books. Um, I think there's just a couple that are not and I am trying to read uh, mostly shorter books this month because I'm so behind on my reading goal that I'm definitely not going to make it. So I'm just trying to get as close as I possibly can because um, right now I've still read less than 80 books this month and my my, or this year and my goal is 120 so uh, I'm just doing my best here I'm just really trying to read as many as possible and it's not like I have that much time or anything I have a lot of other stuff I need to do so um, I'm just reading a whole bunch of really short books so I did end up reading a good like six books this uh, half of the month so uh, that's actually not too bad so the first book that I read was a DNF this is this vicious masks um, I got about a third of the way through this and I was bored as heck there was no character depth and I did not care at all about the story whatsoever so I ended up just having to quit. The first book that I actually finished in the month of December is Scarlet by A.C. Gauguin. This is uh, basically a Robin Hood retelling about uh, Will Scarlet, but Will Scarlet is a chick. I did not enjoy this book, but I think as a Robin Hood retelling, all of this stuff that I look for when I read a Robin Hood retelling was there. I love Robin Hood and I am kind of a Robin Hood purist, so if stuff is just totally like... Um, totally left out like even the subtle things about the story I'm kind of like wait and the whole point to me of reading a Robin Hood retelling is to see what spin people put on those things about all like all the things in the story so I don't always expect a whole lot out of a Robin Hood retelling but as a Robin Hood retelling this really did um work really really well but I did feel like there was very little character depth and it ended up being pretty boring, but it's not very long either. So, I mean, not not bad, honestly, but I didn't enjoy reading it. This Tell by Adi Khoram. This comes out in March and, and it's about a gay boy who is in a boy band. And um, this obviously was not as good and profound as his other books. I definitely did not expect it to be. Um, but I did really enjoy it. I did think it was a really good quick read and it was really adorable. And uh, so if you are looking for some good queer books, I definitely do recommend this one. Bloodborne by Robert Knecht. This is uh, an indie published book it's about a girl who uh, is like recently graduated from college, is still just kind of bartending at a club and her, you know, she doesn't know what she's doing. And uh, one day her roommate, who is a stripper at that same bar, um, spent the rent money on cocaine. And so they have to do whatever they can to try and pay rent that like within a couple of like the next day, basically a rent is due and their landlord is a perv and their boss is a total creep as well. And basically like everyone in this whole freaking book just wants like one thing from a woman, blah, blah, blah. Um, and so the, the main character ends up turning into a vampire because a whole bunch of like shit goes down basically that all stemmed from they needed to pay rent and they didn't have rent. So it's really, really weird. It's a really fast paced story. It's not a long book at all. Um, and it is the first in a series as well. Um, so there was like straight up conflict right from the beginning. Um, so I really, really enjoyed it, but... I did not appreciate the fact that a cat dies in this and it's not even th as bad as I anticipated to be honest because as soon as there is a cat in the book on the first page you learn that there's a cat involved. Um, I was like that cat is gonna die at some point in this book and I was correct but thankfully it was not as bad of a cat death as I thought it was going to be but I just don't appreciate uh, cats especially or any animals but especially cats dying in a book and it makes me really sad so but other than that this was a very enjoyable read. Hotel Magnifique by Emily J. Taylor. This comes out in April and this arc was sent to me by Penguin Teen. Um, this is a uh, fantasy about a hotel that appears at midnight at a different city every day basically and uh, the main character of this story is a girl who is stuck in a small crappy town and she is, uh, she sees that the hotel is 
coming there at midnight and blah de blah and she wants to get her and her sister into the hotel as like workers and stuff so her sister is a singer and she wants and so she wants her sister to audition as a singer and she wants to try and get a job there as well even though she's not a singer or anything like that so they go to the hotel she doesn't actually get in, but her sister does. Uh, but then she does actually, like, refuse to let her sister leave without her, pretty much. Um, because she, she just doesn't want her sister to be on her own, all that stuff. Um, so she does end up getting a job, um, for that reason, pretty much. And then, um... Once they've started working at the hotel, it turns out that things are really not what they seem at all, and things there are very, very dark and creepy, and this whole book was like reading someone's nightmare, basically. There are some terrifying things that go on here. Um, so this whole book was full of twists. I could not put it down. Um, it's so gripping and so weird, and I really, really enjoyed reading this. So I definitely think that y'all should definitely keep an eye out for this. Last but not least, Empire of Sand by Tasha Suri. I did finally read this. Um, so I listened to most of this on audiobook and then um, basically just read the rest that was left. Um, uh, so that saved me a little bit of time pretty much. But anyway, so this book is about a girl who has, um, uh, who has abilities to control the dreams of the gods and so she's able to, uh, and that, that in turn controls kind of what happens in the world, what the world looks like, what it does, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So she ends up having to do that for this douchebag who takes away people's free will, so she has no choice and she has to do this, basically, even though she does not want him to succeed at all, and it sucks. Um, and so, yeah, so this book is really good. It did take forever to get going, but I did really enjoy reading this. So anyway, those are the books that I read in the first half of December. That's actually quite a lot of them, which is definitely really good. Um, but anyway, um, so let me know if you've read any of these, have any thoughts on them, any of that, and I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye!